Hello lovely people, welcome to my channel AIBegins.net. Today we will be looking at a very interesting chipset. This has taken makers community by storm. It's really small, really powerful ESP8266. This one right here is an ESP01 module. Let me give you a rundown on ESP01 chip. So this thing is really small, really cheap, comes up about 2 to 3 dollars and is really powerful. It has 32-bit microprocessor which runs at 80 MHz, which is quite a bit more powerful than your average Arduino. Now this thing has two GPIOs, so that's a bit low compared to Arduino, I know that. And if you're not using serial communication, you can use up to four. But the thing is, you could use this in a lot of projects. You might often find that you just need a few GPIOs for your projects to run, especially IoT based ones. So for that, this is perfect. And another thing to note is that this is not breadboard friendly. You can make it so, but try it out of the box, it's not. Also, it does not contain any regulators. So you'll have to supply your 3.3 volt directly to it. And if you go any high or low, it will not work or burn up. So be careful when you do that. We have this microprocessor and all. So how do you program it? Well, there are a lot of ways to do this. You can use either your Arduino Uno or you could use an USB to FTDI converter. But the simplest way I found is to use this. This is a CH340 based USB to serial communication device for your ESP01 module. Now this thing is also really cheap. You can get it for about two to three dollars. Right out of the box, this thing just acts as a communicator. That is, you can use the messages that comes into your ESP01 module. But to change it into a programmer, we need some soldering. The theory is that ESP01 module requires you to put one of the GPIO pins, that is GPIO0, to the ground so that you can put it into programming mode. But here, there is no such setup. But if you are using just communication, you don't need to do that pull down. So what do we do? Well, all you need is a little switch. So this is a push button switch which I've wired and you can easily attach this between the GPIO uh, zero pin and the ground pin. And when you put it into your computer, you just have to push the button and it enters the programming mode. So let's see it in action. So hey, the soldering is done. So I've connected this push button switch between the GPIO zero right here to the ground pin right here. If you want a reference, you can just take a look at the ESP01 module and you can see on the back you have the pinouts clearly listed. So we have connected uh, GPIO0 to the ground. So this thing will now act as a programmer as well. Let's put it to test and see what happens. Our programmer is now ready for action. and. Our ESP01 is now ready for programming. Let's plug this in. Now, to get it into programming mode, just push this button, hold it on, and plug it in your PC. And then let go of the button. The, uh, the ESP01 has now entered the programming mode. We'll now use Arduino IDE to get a sketch inside and let's see if it works. I've opened up Arduino IDE here and we'll use this to program our ESP01 module. But first, we'll have to set this up. Let's see how to do that. Go to Files and from here Preferences and in the Preferences, under Additional Boards Manager URL, you'll have to paste this link. I provide this link in the description box, so no need to worry. Press OK and then go to Tools, go to your Boards menu, select Board Manager. You will have to search for ESP8266. So this is now loading, yep done and ESP8266 is what we have to search and it is right here. 
new system just click on install in my case i've already done so close this and now a few more steps and we are ready to program go to tools go to port and select your com port uh, this is the port to which your usb device is connected but make sure that uh, you have already installed ch340 drivers because this particular module uh, runs on ch340 chipset so make sure you do that now we are ready to load the sketch go to files examples and esp826655 go to wi-fi scan so this is a sketch which allows you to uh, view which networks are available in your area we'll, this is a simple sketch and we'll begin to upload it it will compile the sketch and then start uploading it into ESP01 as you can see it has started uploading the code into the ESP01 module and it's completed now just take it out of your system and plug it back in this time make sure you don't press the button now this smart deal has entered into communications mode uh, in, in your Arduino IDE go to your serial monitor right here and just wait yep we got it it has started the scanning and it has found some networks nice right Today we have learned how to program an ESP01 module. Hope you had fun and you'll use it in a lot of projects to come. If you like this video, press that like button. If you love this video, press that subscribe button. And please do share it with your friends. It will really help the channel kick off. So see you again in the next video. Bye bye.